バス煉獄教授郎Greetings, my Lombardians, and welcome to another opinion video. Today, I am going to give my honest opinion on Rengoku by Take Sierra. Now, I would like to address the main three issues that I have with the character. Due to the character not being coded so well, there is multiple issues that can occur depending on what stage you are. For example, if we are on this stage and I do a B in air attack, this may occur. The second issue that may occur is very similar when you're near a wall and you're doing a the second sp uh, super. This issue may occur. Where it's stuck. And the last issue is with the sound. The sound is absolutely unbalanced. You have some sound effects that are extremely loud and some that their volume is fine. For example, when it comes to dashes sound, when it comes to B attacks, the sound is fine. A is... well, some of the sounds are very loud. So, some are loud, some are quiet. This is an issue that I've noticed with many of uh, fresh princess characters as well. I do not understand why so many people struggle with balancing sound, but this is something that uh, happens quite often. I would like to start with movement. I will remove the life bars. The movement is 10 out of 10. It feels great. You slowly fall down so you cannot stay in the air forever, so it is balanced. It's very fun to use. And I'm pretty sure you can jump from the wall, but I'm not completely sure how to do that. But regardless, this feels absolutely amazing. And if this was a review, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. And then we move on to the attacks. You can dash forward and do A to start a combo. You can do the same with B to knock down the enemy. And you can even continue it with a combo depending on what combination you do. And the same applies to forward, forward, Y. There are different combos that you can create. You can do A, which is a very boring and simple short attack that is based on you combining it with B or C. We have B, which you can continue by doing another combo while Naruto is in the air. Obviously it's way more, it's way harder to continue the combo because he's in the air, but if you know what you're doing, you can do something really neat with it. And we have C, which I personally really like. Of course, we also have uh, in the air A, which is a combo that you can do in the air. We have B, which knocks back the enemy and we have C which knocks down the enemy so you have a variety of what you want to do do you want to do a combo do you want to knock back the enemy to have space between you or you can knock him down well in the air you can also apply down A which is absolutely great if, let's say, you're trying to confuse your enemy or doing a lot of dashes and you want to do down A. You have down B, which is a different uh, downwards attack, also a really great attack to use. We have down A, which is a grab. Now, the purpose of a grab is if, let's say, your opponent is constantly blocking and you cannot break their block, no problem. You hold down, you press A and you can throw them. Same goes to if for some reason, or let's say Naruto here has you towards the wall and you want him to be towards the wall, then oh, and now he's towards the wall. So it's a great mechanic to have. We have down B, which can launch the enemy into air combo. And we have down C, which can bring the enemy towards you if you want to be really aggressive. Let's say Naruto wants to keep distance from me. And I tell him, nah, brah, you're coming towards me. And now we move on to the specials. Unfortunately, the specials are going to be hella loud. So in advance, I apologize. But unfortunately, this is just the way the character is. The sound is absolutely unbalanced. The first special. 
which is a counter hit, which is actually a great uh, tool to have as well. We have the second special, which is a distance special, the third one. I kinda like this one. You cannot uh, punish him, obviously, if you go behind him or whatever, he can still damage you. We have the fourth one. Fifth one. Which is great for if you want to activate a special well in the air from above. And the last special. So I'll be honest, I don't think the variety of the specials is that great. Uh, for example, we have this special. And then we have this special. Or maybe this one. They're kind of similar. And it's not like they guard break, so I don't really see the variety in them. They are very, very similar, so I wouldn't say the variety is all that great. But when it comes to how they look and everything, they're really great. And obviously they're fun to use. And now for his supers. If you do down forward, down forward, A plus B. Flame thingy that I am guessing doubles the damage. And he has down forward, down forward. B plus C. It's a great damage and a great overall attack. Then we have his ultimate. Well, I just remembered that I forgot to put on my controller on, but regardless, the ultimate is a 10 out of 10 ultimate, considering what could have been done with this character, I think nothing better could have been done with the ultimate, and it's a very simple 10 out of 10 type of ultimate, in my subjective opinion, of course. Overall, I think this is an absolutely great character to, to try and use. It's very unfortunate that when it comes to sound and some of the bugs will occur, the the sound unbalance is in my opinion unacceptable but this is still an absolutely great character to try probably the best version for this character um it I, i'd give it around 8 out of 10 probably it's a very solid very great character i highly recommend everyone to try out so link will be down in the description and with that said i wish everyone to have a wonderful day